Pinch your pinch Pinch your pinch Pinch your pinch Today, past means something has changed. मतलब पहले जो पास था वो पास था जो बीत गया सो बीत गया लेकिन आज सोशल मीडिया की वजह से पास्ट पास रहा ही नहीं यार पास्ट एक पास टाइम बनकर रह गया है वेदर यू लाइक इट और नॉट आर डिजिटल फुटप्रिंट्स आर ऑलवेज फॉलोइंग अस अराउंड आज अगर मैंने किसी चीज को सोशल मीडिया पे पोस्ट किया तो वो हमेशा हमेशा के लिए रह जाता है और अगर मैंने अपनी तरफ से उसे डिलीट कर भी लिया तो भी वो जहां पर आपने पोस्ट किया है उसके सर्वर पे रह जाता है इसलिए तो मैं कहता हूं थोड़ा सोचो थोड़ा समझो फिर कमेंट करो या ना करो वेलकम टू आवर शो क्विक हील पिंच बाय अरबाज खान वे वी टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स दैट पिंच इज अ बिट इंक्लूडिंग सम एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी पीपल हु हैपन टू बी सेलिब्रिटीज हु वी लव एडमायर एंड अडोर माय नेक्स्ट गेस्ट इज अ रिमार्केबल स्टोरी ऑफ करेज एंड विल पावर हर शो विल पावर दैट कुड हेल्प हर शग ऑफ अ पास्ट और कुड शी Please welcome on the show my co-star my friend Karanjit Kaur aka Sunny Leone baby I'm going to miss you a little bit Pinch your pinch 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 your pinch I feel like there should have been some applause <sighs> There it is in the background It was like a big <laughs> big intro Sunny You know it's it's a great compliment to have come to India and to get such a great uh, you know fan following and acceptance of course a great compliment even to our Indian audience that has received you with open arms and has you know given you so much of warmth and so much of love so it it's great to have you on the show but like we said with a lot of good also comes a little bit of bad so Sunny we picked up some comments and we need your reaction you know i don't re- i don't usually read all of those weird nasty comments just because i just don't want that negativity entering my little world that i oh, live in yeah. so let's see this his name is hasna zaruri zaruri hai okay. and uh, a porn star's retirement plan is indian film industry hashtag sunny leone i love my retirement plan thank you except i'm not at home <laughs> doing nothing i'm working every single day <laughs> yeah. ishika singh she says hashtag sunny leone anticipated hashtag porn ban and wisely shifted her career indeed a visionary i know seriously i'm a visionary i understood that i needed to be here you know i think that every single person does thing in things in their life and they make decisions that's best for them at that moment i made decisions that were best for me at that moment in time have i evolved absolutely have i moved on absolutely they probably want they want an answer from you maybe they want some kind of remorse they want some kind of regret or they're they, just obsessed that's and what i'm saying they just keep they, watching yeah, stuff yeah. over and over, over again, and, probably, yeah. and they're like i don't get it what how is this and then this i don't understand these two people are must be two totally different people sex always evokes an emotion yeah. so when somebody's you know in the act or watching something or you know in this intimate moment but i think there are far feelings. more people watching and there are far more warriors than people are actually doing it that's probably the uh, uh, yeah obsession that's where it starts yeah. is this this emotion this whole thing yeah. of you know oh i know this person um next one is that the family business probably is the last thing hashtag sunny leone will ever suggest her children as a career option yeah probably why would i do that um but if they want to be in the indian film industry i think that that would be a great thing or if my daughter wanted to continue and run a cosmetic line that i just launched i think that's a great family business mm-hmm. or the perfume line that i just launched this you know last two years i think that would be a great family business that she would want to take over i think my main goal in life is just to raise a good human being someone that's kind and generous to people and regardless of whether they work in entertainment i doubt the work in adult regardless they want to be a janitor they want to be a lawyer they want to be a doctor they want to be an astronaut they want to be a president of the united states um or they feel like working in the arts it's their choice so you you think that choosing any any kind of profession is out of a situation that is created with uh, with circumstances how i got into the adult industry was it just happened it wasn't something that i set out to do or a circumstance like oh i need to go do this or someone forced me into the you know 
into that. So it wasn't anything like that at all. I've known you and I've worked with you and whatever impression that uh, people have about you, I'm presuming, I can just turn around and tell them that the warmest person, the kindest person, and the funniest person <laughs> is this woman sitting out here because she is lovely. She's really amazing. And I'm so fortunate to having met you and interacted with you and worked with you. And I think uh, you're doing such amazing things and Thank God bless you. you. Thank yeah. you. I feel the same way about you. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that personally pinches you? On social media, something that pinches me that I see is when the media highlights such a ridiculous story and gives a voice to people that should not have a voice or you know these groups these fanatic groups mm -hmm. that um are out on the street and burning my pictures and doing all sorts of crazy stuff and saying saying that they'll commit mass suicide if sunny comes to our city <laughs> really are you serious um it's very weird um but I think that it's nonsense when the media highlights it and then they post it on their social media. Yeah. But I guess that's the kind of world we're living in. That's right. the kind of answers that we constantly either need to give or to shut up about. So you have the right to talk about it or to shut up. People have spoken about it. People have chosen to ignore it and people have uh, deleted people's comments. They just kind of... I just said block them. You're like block, block block yeah pest control <laughs> on your social media right so yeah. these are the people that i block people that induce some sort of violence uh, -huh. uh physically like threatening uh physical <clears throat> violence against either myself or any other person who's my follower um at people that post obscene material mm. i don't dude i don't want to look at that stuff on my timeline that's the last thing you want to do is scroll Thanks, bro. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see today. Do you completely like dislike anybody making any kind of negative comments? Or is it like completely, it needs to be squeaky clean? Nothing I've done is squeaky clean. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think that people making nasty comments is going to happen. When you put yourself out there on social media, you are letting the world see you you open yourself up to this criticism what probably you think would be the reason why that kind of negativity that kind of caustic remarks come out from these people you don't know them you don't interact with them you've not heard them probably you've entertained them more or than Hello? anything yeah yeah you have so yeah i only bring happiness yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my theory about people and the people that hate me. So they're on my social media page. They go check it out, right? They've clicked. They're scrolling through my timeline. They're looking. How long they're looking for? Let's say 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. They're looking for photos. Next, they start typing. They're like, uh-uh, ye ni bolunga, ye bolunga. Then they'll delete it again and then they'll rewrite something else. They'll be like, no, actually, I'm going to write something even nastier. Okay. Then they're going to read it uh -huh. multiple times. Yeah, make, make sure, sure make sure that uh, this is what I want to say. Reread it. Uh -huh. And they're reading it. And then they go and post. They hit the button. They're like, yeah, I did it. Now, what are they doing? They're doing this uh -huh. <laughs> on their phone and they're scrolling. See, they're waiting it? for people to start commenting on my page. Uh -huh. They're watching that little round thing go, and they're doing it again, waiting for comments to come in, good ones, bad ones. Let's say now they've been on my page for an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, easily, because not only are they looking at something. If you would ask me, it would be longer. So now they're waiting and they're looking at all these comments and they've spent this much time on my social media page. And all I have to say is thank you for being on my page for so long and hanging out with me because True. Yeah. this is amazing those people who hate me are only fueling you know the your, your growth your, your so numbers thank yeah. you so much <coughs> for trolling me it feels amazing because i know how long you're spending on my page yeah. you've not reported anybody to the cops have you yes i have you and have. i got him blocked for one day and i swear it was the best it was the <laughs> best feeling yeah. and it was somebody we know i forgot his name he just disappeared because uh -huh. his account has been uh, deleted indefinitely. So you knew this guy who did was who you? Yeah, he was sending emails. He was upset that we didn't want to work with him. Uh, he would just make all these nasty comments. But 
what happened what's scary about people who are they're not like celebrity celebrities they're mm -hmm. you know on a different side of the fence um is that they're i'm always worried about their followers because their followers are following a fanatic person who uh -huh. makes nasty comments about people and those people don't I don't want to say that they don't know any better, mm -hmm. but they get riled up yeah. with that person. Yeah, and what happened was is his followers mm -hmm. then started making really crazy comments and getting very violent, threatening me, threatening my life, my family, coming to my house. Um, if I went to their city, they were going to hurt me, all these different things. And it's not that the person had said something violent, but it evoked this crazy emotion in people. So people would show up at my house. I swear it was the most scariest time. I'd walk to my door because Daniel was in Los Angeles with a knife in my hand. Really? It was really scary. And I'm really happy that even if it was only one day that yeah. I got his account <laughs> shut down, we also filed a case against him uh, with the cyber crimes unit here in Mumbai. Sunny, you know, quite often we post things on social media with a certain intention, but it is perceived in a very different light, in a different way. Very recently, uh, one of your posts was about a person who worked with you for a very long time, a guy, mm -hmm. Prabhakar. He was almost like a family member to you. He was with you for the longest time. Yeah. And you did a lot for him. Like Even eight, while he, eight years. Already while you were with him, you did a lot for him. You made a post where you wanted some kind of a support. For that, you got a bit of a negative reaction. Some of the nasty comments when you can buy a maserati you can also donate 20 lakhs come on sunny it's just 20 lakhs your shoes and your bags worth 20 lakhs why are you asking for donations your recent net income was estimated around 3 million you have come here begging for someone that was loyal to you really you should be ashamed of yourself how do you react to, to such comments then Prabhakar was sick for a lot longer than when I posted that, right. he was sick. And uh, Daniel and I took care of all of his uh, financial needs, all of the hospital bills and all the um, blood transfusions that he would have to do because he had kidney failure. Uh -huh. uh, his kidneys were not working. Maybe it was less than 10%. When you find out that your friend or you know someone that you're working with for so long is going to die if we don't help him, you go into a panic mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know that he's been working in this industry for a very, very long time and right. a lot of people love him. And it's not just medical bills. It's his home. It's his family, lawyer bills because he had to apply for a transplant. Um, his, he, has, he has a son. I mean, he had a son. What I Body wrote on there more. was yeah. a small amount of what actually needed to be done. There was so much that we wanted to do for him. There's so many things and we failed yeah. and he died. Yeah. I remember, I remember you were like, we, we'd take him to America because he was like, he was not been taken care of rightly out here. And you were so worried. You and Daniel called up on the phone, spoke to Sonny and fired, you know, that team of people said, get him out of the hospital that he already is in, get him into another hospital. Yeah, we don't you all did a lot that, for him. Yeah. I was aware of it. That's the reason when you posted it, I reposted what you did and I was like, you know, fine. Let's just get that kind of support that Sunny and uh, Prabhakar It need. wasn't, it's, he's work. like I said, he has a lot of people around him. He's very quiet. You met him. He never talked. You know, he wasn't that open person um, that would say, hi, I'm sick and, you know, please pray for me or please, like, you know, you know me or I need help or any of that he never asked for anything Sunny, i don't care what people think no, i don't care you don't need to. if you they did think your bid, you... i might have a hundred million dollars my thing for him was let me let me tell everybody who loves you so much True. and who would want to take care of you and you that did you're sick. you did sunny I, I i know for a fact and we, you did. and we didn't we failed he didn't make it's it okay it's okay it's, it's been really hard sir it's <laughs> We all miss him a lot. You did your bit, you know, let people say what they want. But you're a good person. Thanks. Sunny, like most people, you know, particularly on social media or wherever, they can take any kind of 
negativity or kind of comments about them or their lives or whatever whatever it is but when it comes to their children i think you know people get very protective they don't things are not as acceptable on one of your recent posts where you put up your baby's picture you got some of that when i do post a picture of them i'm sure i get lots and lots of nasty comments but i don't know i'm not concerned with them all i'm concerned with usually at that moment is Okay, when's the next feeding? Okay, did <laughs> is there a dirty diaper that I have to clean right now or I'm not staring if I post a photo, I'm not staring at all the comments. comments yeah. I'm usually post it, put it down. I'm like, "Okay, which child needs me right now?" Okay. Um so I'm not yeah. you know, I'm not too concerned about you know, their their comments. I have to think what kind of human being are they if they're yeah. posting a nasty comment about a child. Yeah. Seriously. But then I mean, let's Let's put it all in perspective. It's not a very common thing that people have their own kids and adopt, and it's happened pretty simultaneously. On so, the same day, June yeah. 21st, 2017, Daniel and I were the proud parents of three children. Yeah, it's um, amazing. <laughs> and could you just like kind of throw some light to this? I've always wanted to adopt a child. Um, forever since I was a teenager. I just remember wanting to, have, you know, adopt a child. and i i just like threw it out there i'm like why can't we just adopt a child daniel <laughs> and then he's like yeah we can look into that and then that's where it started and we really you, wanted a girl how do they get along how are they <laughs> oh it's 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 so cute watching you know nisha with her little brothers and the boys adore her we don't daniel and i don't exist if nisha's there what are your boys <laughs> names uh noah and asher uh uh-huh. So it's Noah, Asher, and Nisha. Okay, Sunny. After all the you know the serious stuff, and I put you in front of a firing squad, and I'm we're going to go into some fun stuff now. Okay, I'm going to find out by asking you a few questions. According to that, we'll know how addicted you are to okay. the social media. Okay, the first one is: Do you have to post every day? Yes. Do you ever part with your phone? Where's your phone right now? My phone has parted with me. It's with uh, Vicky. Which media are you the most active on? Insta. Why? Because I like the social interaction of that more than Twitter. Twitter's more information and Instagram is more like it's just different. <laughs> okay, do you clean up your pictures before you post them? Yes. You do? Filter. Why would you need that, Sunny? You're so beautiful. Because sometimes the light just sucks, okay? It just is horrible. Or sometimes, you know what? I'm having a really bad day and I really like a nice filter to make me feel better and not really show that I was had a glass too many of wine the night before or that my face and weird soul doing some crazy something. Yeah, sometimes there's a filter. What's the first thing you reach out as soon as you wake up? Your husband, your babies, or your phones? No. The I usually turning an alarm off. <coughs> I'm not looking at social so media. <laughs> or I have to get up before the alarm goes off because I hear babies crying and usually it's the baby. Okay. First. Okay, the baby first. It's like take, a 50-50. I'll take that. It's a toss between the baby and the phone. Yeah. Sorry, so Daniel. <laughs> How much of your waking time do you spend on social media? I'd say 2 hours. That's it? Yeah, because the rest of the day I am Sunny, whenever I go on uh, WhatsApp or this thing I either see a post of yours or I see you online. I have like a team of people. Okay, I'm coming to that. Okay. No. You post or does your agency post? All How the person all the personal stuff, all the fun stuff is all this guy. Yeah. <laughs> all the bad the, guy. All the information or you know stuff like that that's the good guys. The bad guys. No, the <laughs> okay. good guys. <laughs> okay, fine. Does your agency delete the negative comments you get? No, they don't delete anything. You do. I do. Okay. Guys, I delete. She deletes. Personally, I block. she deletes all your horrible comments if you do put, all right? So trollers, yeah. be aware. We did a bit of a research and we went through your timeline and we saw that your timeline It's very nice. Oh, well there's certain words that have been if someone uses a certain word, then that automatically gets taken out. So we have so these yeah. um you know different Check filters. Yeah. So yeah. we have certain words like porn or sex or fuck or le- uh, like weird like weird comments. Okay, so if anybody Or uses those words while making a like, comment, like it just automatically get filtered. Body 
parts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so <laughs> you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, be very careful when you're using all in those multiple words. languages. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's in multiple, That's multiple. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, if it's in when English. you went on, did you see any body part no, word? No, no. no, no right? No. That's so in good, the filter. Good, good. So don't even try. Okay, so my last question would be: You block haters that we figured out on the show. Mm -hmm. What are the numbers that you've blocked? Do you yeah. want to check? Can we? Is there a system? Can I have my phone, please? Come on, get your phone. Okay, let's see. So, it is. 2020 blocked. Okay, Sunny, after putting you through the test, you don't severely suffer from social mediators. You don't. So you're like a 50 50. Okay. Yeah? Good. So I can either okay. go one you way or the you other. You don't need treatment, basically. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you can relax. So, Sunny, it was wonderful having you on the show. For that, we have a little hamper for you. Aww. Hope you like it. Thank you. And here it is. That's from our team and that's from our show, Pinch. Yeah. That's for you. Thank you. Not the amazing. I hope you like it. I'm, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's so heavy. Let me pinch you, pinch you a little bit. Thanks for watching us, supporting us, and please be responsible on social media. Please use it to help people, to support people, and lift them up. And as I always say, thoda socho, thoda samjo, phir comment karo, ya na karo. But, hamare liye comment zarur karo. Hope you guys are enjoying watching our show. Like, share, subscribe to Q Play.